got involved in the hoverboard malarkey um, through uh, basically they did a, a casting at Base 66 and um, they had a load of people went down, loads of skaters from London went down because the money was great and um, somebody else got the job, another skater, they brought him to Germany, they didn't tell him what it was for, he thought he was going to be skating, so they brought him down test the board in Germany, he had a go. Um, then they asked him if he could do it, if he, if he reckoned he could do like a jump on it. And he was like, nah, fuck that, I wouldn't jump it 50 grand, apparently, that's what he said. Um, and then the people that are making the ad obviously sort of shit themselves a bit and thought, oh, maybe it's not possible. And then they got in touch with me somehow. And um, then I went to Germany, had a go on it. And then started messing around and it was quite fun, and that's, that's how I got involved. This was six months ago. So the whole process was basically they'd, they'd found this um, institute in Germany that had the magnetic levitation technology already. They, would have, they were using uh, selling transportation, selling it for transportation basically. So they had this track set up in this institute that had a car on it. Was, it was more like, a, more like a train kind of thing. It just had two seats and you pull a lever and it goes around this track two straights, two curves. Um, so then they were using them guys to develop a board because they knew a lot about the technology. So they worked with these scientists in Germany to develop a board. And I was going there, I went to Germany twice to test out two different boards. Um, then after that, I was going to Spain twice. So I've only been on four trips. I haven't tried it like all the time for six months. And I've been four times to test three different boards. And then the last time was for the shoot, and that was the, the actual board that we tried it on. I'd never tested that board before. Yeah, so the first one was a prototype, second was a prototype, the third one, they had it, they were like, right, we're gonna use this board. But then on the day, they dressed it up to make it look all fancy and shiny, because it was just like a shell of a board before. So they added smoke, basically? Mm, well, the, the smoke that comes out was there from the very beginning, because it's liquid nitrogen that goes in. So that it can't, it has to escape because if it gets trapped and so the liquid nitrogen can't vent, it could be dangerous. Do you know what I mean? So the smoke is for real. It's not. There's no uh, special effects. There's no special effects in it at all. And the whole thing, there's no special effects. It's all for real. It's levitating like this on the track, but in the advert they hide the track under the floor so you don't see the track. But that's how it works. It works with uh, a phenomenon called quantum locking. It's when you have a superconductor on a strong magnet and you freeze that superconductor with liquid nitrogen at minus 200 degrees, it levitates. Because it basically levitates into the magnetic field emitted by the track. But with this phenomenon, instead of it repelling or both pushing away, the superconductor locks into its magnetic field and can pass freely through it. The, the feeling of riding the board on this magnetic field is a real bizarre feeling because it sits, if the track's straight, the magnetic field is rounded, the board sits like this, so it teeters on this rounded magnetic field, so it's super unstable. I mean, you could touch it, it would be like, you know, wobbling around. So the idea of riding it, it's a real balancing act, you know, it's a tightrope thing. So I was having my feet almost, like old school snowboarder style, it wasn't like flat like a skateboard, it would be more like a turn like that, you know, in line with, with the little fucking bit you've got to balance on. And then there was just no friction, it was completely smooth. Like you don't feel anything, there's no like bumps, rocks, there's not like a skateboard. It feels nothing like a skateboard at all, you know. You can actually compare it with skateboarding because there's no similarity apart from the board is kind of shaped like a skateboard but it's not. It's way longer, it's wider, fatter, and it reacts differently to a skateboard. I mean, it's, it's not a skateboard, basically. It's a fucking hoverboard, you know. A lot of skaters are like, ah, oh, they wanted a, something that you could do skate tricks on, but they're tripping because it's just a fucking board that is developed from this technology used for transportation and they've managed to make a hoverboard, hover, kind of a hoverboard out of it. It's not free riding, you can't freely ride what you want, you have to stay on the track. I mean, anti-gravity technology is not invented yet, so until that does, skaters won't get what they want from Back to the Future, you know what I mean? I mean, just to fucking ride the board was a trick. I mean, it was hard. And then we did the jumps, we set up small jumps in this institute which worked, which the scientists said wouldn't work because they were like, oh the forces of the magnitude and the forces are too strong. And it worked. It was cool, we did jumps, went round the corners, we did this bowl, you know, the water gag. 
was piss, basically the tracks in the water. So basically you're just going on the flat. And that, that was the easy one. People were like, oh, it looks great. Well, that was the fucking easiest one. And then jump in the car, in the actual advert, I'm slamming. But we did that, we did the jump. Like I landed the jump and rode away. But for some reason they were, I think it's because, because a lot of people think it's fake and it's all CGI's. They want to put me falling over a lot to show that it's hard, to show that it's for real. Which I was a bit bummed about. I wanted them to fucking put the real shit in, put the clean landed tricks, so it's like more impressive. But for the uh, the advertising people, they wanted they wanted it to be more um, I don't know, like a film and like camaraderie, friend picking you up, and you know it's difficult and like a little story or something. Yeah, the shoot was three days in just outside Barcelona, just on the beach in Cubellas was the place. So they built that whole skate park. Well, half of it was a concrete park already there on the beach. And then they added on um, the wooden park and sprayed it. It all made it look all the same like the concrete park next to it. So one half of it was a real concrete park and the other half was a wooden park with the tracks hidden underneath the floor and in the ramps and sprayed to make it look like concrete and made it, made it all look like one big park. Right? On that note, <laughs> enjoy skateboarding. <laughs>